Hello ladies and gentlemen so we begin with another episode wherein we're going to talk about Fallerine Balagan we're also going to talk about Gabriel Jesus we're going to talk about Serge Gnabry why exactly uh, he's leaving Bayern Munich why would why would someone want to leave Bayern Munich we get to more concrete stuff as to Serge Gnabry's departure from Bayern is imminent that's not me saying it is actually going to happen and why do i say that because we are also going to talk about well uh, some reality as well whether we actually should expect Serge Gnabry to Arsenal or not as of now of course we are also going to talk about that we are also going to talk about um, Rich Arlison and Arsenal's first bid for Aaron Hickey ladies and gentlemen so the first news that we have is for you England forward Fallerin Balogun was one of the four England under 21 players to train with England senior team at St. George's Park yesterday and Matt Turner will play his last game for a New England Revolution on June 19th and join Arsenal in, in time for the start of the preseason campaign on June 24th yes ladies and gentlemen well Turner was asked whether he watches Arsenal games with fans in bars he says a lot of those gooners probably saw me at the bar and obviously had no idea who I was which is pretty funny to think about now and talking about his move to Arsenal he says um, uh, his move to Arsenal is a legitimate dream come true after the 2010 World Cup. He began to follow the Premier League and he's a fan of Arsenal. During his final years in college, Turner spent weekend mornings watching games at Arsenal supporters' preferred bars. He says, towards the end of last year, my agent mentioned something about Arsenal getting in contact and having interest. He was like, there's this, this and this out there, a couple of teams in the championship, but a ridiculously long shot that Arsenal is interested. That was his quote, a ridiculous long shot. Literally two days later, Arsenal comes in and throws in their first bid. At that point, I already made up my mind that I wanted to go. At the end of the day, everyone got where they needed to get and the deal got done. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's how Arsenal signed Matt Turner. But in 2016, Sandor Varga, who's a football agent, uh, said that... Uh, when Zinchenko was 17, Wenger called me and asked me about him. Wenger saw 20 minutes of him and said, I need this guy. He wanted him for the first team straight away, not the reserves, but certain circumstances interfered. And that's how Zinchenko to Arsenal never happened as of now. Moving on, Bukai Saka and Emil Smithrow have been shortlisted for Men's PFA Young Player of the Year Award. Congratulations to both of them. It is fantastic. Here we go. Oh, Saka and Emil Smithrow. Let's talk about Serge Gnabry, ladies and gentlemen. So sport builds say that Bayern are hoping that by signing Sadio Mane, Serge Gnabry would notice that his starting spot is under threat and would agree to being sold this summer. And why is that? Well, Lothar Matthaus via sport build says, if Mane signed to Bayern, there will be too many offensive wingers in the team with, Bayern, with Gnabry, Sane and Coman. So Matthaus speculates, he says that with Serge Gnabry, it smells at least somewhat like farewell. Lothar Matthaus has confirmed it. With Serge Gnabry, he sells, he smells, I'm sorry, he smells that it is some sort of a farewell. So ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Gnabry might be ultimately leaving Bayern, but that does not suggest that he will be coming to Arsenal. As of now, that's the truth. Moving on, so let's talk about Noah Lang. So Noah Lang confirms Arsenal's interest and steps towards him in January. Uh, but he says it became actually too late. He says that because someone left at the last minute, which is Aubameyang, Arsenal wanted to sign someone quickly, but this deal is no longer possible. Yes. So yes, nine goals and 15 assists for the 22-year-old winger. Noah Lang is really really one of the players Arsenal were really hoping to get moving on so let's talk about Hector Bellerin so Hector Bellerin according to Matteo Moreto will leave Arsenal in the summer he has one year left on his contract at 4 million euros net and is not in the plans of English club the players priority is to stay at Betis but in recent weeks Fiorentina has shown interest in him as well so according to athletic.uk Gabriel Jesus is the best pressing forward in the world Ozyman is fitting Arteta's profile spatial awareness and strength Dominic calvert lewin intriguing but arguably best biggest gamble another news that suggests that 
it would be difficult for Serge Gnabry to go to Real Madrid as well because they have stepped up their interest uh, uh, in Raheem Sterling. Moving on, uh, according to UOL Esporte, Arsenal are still interested in Arthur Melo as well as Tielemans. They state that Edu wants to reignite Arthur's file where, which led to interest in the January window. Melo needs to play to be selected in the World Cup. 2022 that is what Melo wants that's what Ceballos wants as well but who cares about Ceballos anymore yeah moving on so Udinese would like to keep Pablo Mari around but can't afford to sign him so we'll likely ask for another loan that's according to Gazzettino they believe that yes Pablo Mari another loan spell would make a lot of sense because they cannot afford him and we have one player that we want that's Nahuel Molina Apparently. Moving on, Arsenal are the main contenders to sign Richarlison, but Chelsea, Tottenham also have plans to sign him. Why? Richarlison out of nowhere? No, 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 no. Please, no. Wow. Weird as hell, ladies and gentlemen, so. Wow. Moving on, so yes, ladies and gentlemen, well, according to um, Vincenzo Italiano, however, has not give, uh, given up the uh, pursuit of um, Luca Torreira. So, Correr Fiorentina on uh, Wednesday states that Serie A side's chief, Joe Barone of Fiorentina, is still in the United States while the club manager is waiting for the next meeting to define plans for the summer window. Uh, Italiano hopes Fiorentina sporting director Daniel Prada can pursue diplomacy with the midfielder's agent who has not completely closed on the door for his client's move. In other words, the talks between two parties will go in indefinitely. Torreira's latest comments indicates that he is willing to join Fiorentina, but Lazio also want to sign him as well. So, he loves Italy, but the price tag of 15 million euros that was agreed upon is not being exercised. So, Torreira comes back to Arsenal as of now. Moving on, so yes, ladies and gentlemen, Arsenal are closing in on a deal to sign Aaron Hickey with a 21.75 million pound move said to be very likely according to reports in Italy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, according to certain reports in Italy, it is being suggested that Gazzetta dello Sport, they say that yes, Arsenal uh, we are very likely to sign and submit a bid. Sorry, and that Arsenal have already submitted a bid uh, in the region of 21.75 million pounds for Aaron Hickey. So the first bid for, Big, for Hickey is done. According to Gazeta Dello Sports, so that's that. Make of that what you will. But moving on, Ruben Neves, as I already mentioned, uh, Ruben Neves, 120 million euros is the price tag that Bruno Laga wants the clubs to pay for Ruben Neves, which is really weird. And I don't know what he was smoking when he said that. But Manchester United have been particularly heavily linked to Ruben Neves so far this summer. But Sport insists that Barcelona has surpassed Arsenal in the race to sign Wolves star. So, Barcelona, Manchester United and Arsenal, all three clubs are wanting to sign Ruben Neves. But Bruno Laga is in his own dimension. Yes, and that makes me... I don't know, I, I, I'm laughing at his thing, to be fair. With this, I'd like to end this episode. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe for daily Arsenal content. Cheers.